Hello everyone, it's Catherine here from Ink Finger Cat. Um, so I've been sharing my scrapbook um, albums. Um, the others have all been fairly mixed, random ones, sort of loosely grouped by who is the, the subject of the photo. Um, this is my Disneyland Paris album. Um, I'm hoping that there might be a few more pages yet to be made for this. It's not completely finished, I don't think. I mean, we took hundreds and hundreds of pictures, so this could go on forever. I'm also hoping to, at some point, have another Disney holiday, but that's that's quite a few years away, I suspect. So anyway, I thought I'd share you this one today. Um, so yeah, something a little bit more Disney, a bit different. Um, so, starting off, we went to Disneyland Paris in October 2014. It was meant to be the trip of a lifetime, as in, don't ever expect to go to Disney again. Um, this this is like so much money, blah, blah, blah. But we all fell in love the second we got there. Um, and I, I'm still constantly dreaming that we should have gone in 2020 to um, Florida. That would have been the trip of the lifetime. Yep, pandemic, that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, we've still not gone and we're now looking at 2027 as a potential going, um, by which time Maya will be 21, so she'll be able to drink. Uh, not that the purpose of going to Disney is to go and drink, but it does seem a little bit odd to go on holiday with her and she'd not be allowed to have any alcohol the whole time when she can have alcohol when she wants it here. She's not a big drinker, it's not like it's a thing, but you know, that's our thoughts. Um, we're not allowed to go without her, is the rule. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep watching those videos on YouTube and being obsessed about it. But there you go. Right, on to scrapbooking. Um, so these were all scrapped over a period of time, but most of them were done at a reasonable similar period. So you'll find that they're all a fairly similar style because that was the style of scrapbooking I was doing at that point. Uh, and I was doing quite a bit of scrapbooking at this point in my life. Um, so, yeah, there's quite a lot in here. So, opening page, we actually didn't tell my daughter we were going, uh, she knew we were going to France, she didn't know we were going to Disneyland, um, so this was us in the car park of the hotel telling her, she was like, what, what, and then, oh, really? So, yeah, it was a big surprise, I spent the whole time bawling whilst telling her, because I was so excited, anyway, sorry, the scrapbook page, um, so, yeah, a few different panels, sort of, jotted around in a cluster I like the bit of stamping it's a shame it's not consistent on both sides I don't like this stamping although yeah no I don't like that stamping and the, and it's sort of interfering with the writing um, because the stamping itself has got writing on it and it doesn't make sense so yeah I don't like that I do you like the little stickers and the, this little bit down here and I love these these are cute and I quite like it being in a strip, but I also wish that they'd been kind of clustered. But again, that's that's different styles of scrapbooking, isn't it? So this one is very much a me page. This looks exactly like I would like it to look. Um, used a lot of the, I think they're called Simple Stories, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know who the papers are, but similar papers in this. Um, I did buy a couple of like kits that were very Disney focused so that they would all work. Um, but that was that same evening that we'd arrived and, you know, our first view of the castle, our first night in Disneyland Paris, and we were all very excited. Even though we'd spent a lot of time, we'd travelled down by car, we'd stayed overnight at like a Premier Inn near the port. I think not far away from Dover anyway, caught the ferry across and then driven across. So it was a long day. Um, we were all tired, but um, very happy. But yeah, love this. Um, I mean, it, it's falling apart a little bit because it's it's a little bit fragile doing it with paper. But all the little brads, I mean, I used all the brads. Um, love, but I love it. I think that's just really lovely. I love the sort of like the, the faux stitching around the side and all of the little journaling, um, journaling strips. Okay, so this one is us being able to ride on the first ride and Maya was like, she's so used to when um, like you go anywhere and there'd be a carousel or something, she'd go, can I ride? And we're like, no, it's cost a lot of money, sweetheart, you don't really. And um, 
the fact that we didn't have to pay to go on a ride. She was like, we'd have to pay. Well, I can just go on a ride. And we were like, hey, we can just go on a ride. So yeah, this was us eagerly waiting. It was either the teacups or the, par or the carousel. Yeah, it was the carousel. I thought it was. Um, love this page, uh, this paper, because obviously it's all Mickey Mouse themed. Um, so a panel of the, it looks like a newspaper, but it's all about the mouse. Uh, Main Street, Greatest Place on Earth, etc. Um, I love these little banners. These, I think, were all stamped and then punched out. Uh, and then just a little bit of a few scraps of paper coming in. Again, love this with the little doodled hearts. Just, I love this album. I mean, obviously, I love Disney, but I love this album. I love the way that I put it together. So it's a very different style of page in terms of it's got the very vanilla rather than the white um, and more vintagey style. But it just worked with the sort of the carousel horses, I thought. Um, quite a dark photo because obviously it was the evening by this point. And this was us on our carousel horses. Um, yeah, really loved it. Um, I love these like flourishes that I'd added in. And I think I'd also sort of like slightly stenciled them. Uh, I think airbrushed. I'm pretty sure that's like a, an airbrush pen. Put the pen in the airbrush tool and it sort of gives you a, an airbrush splatter as well as it looks like gorgeous grunge in terms of the stamping. Everything's inked. Love it. Love it. Back to the bright papers again. Um, I can't remember what the app was on my phone. But I used to do this with quite a lot of pictures. Um, I'd actually do the embellishments and everything on the app on my phone or on my iPad. I can't remember what the app was called. Uh, it was a great app. And then printed it out or had it printed. Um, but yeah, this was, this is great. I love it. Um, oh, I actually put this together. I thought that was a panel. But no, these are different pieces of paper because I can feel. Um, and I, re I really like that sort of like little panel of of journal in strips that's really cute love the embellishments with the, the cups for the teacups um she absolutely loved that ride oh an empty page ready to be filled so there you go so completely different color because we've got the blue as the background um i'm very much about clustering my embellishments at this point so um yeah, there's a lot of that happens. I can see stars in the background that I've done stamping. Yeah, I really like the, I really like the style of, of scrapbooking. I think the thing that I'm I'm a bit like, oh, is that I didn't map these pictures and I just feel like they, they could have done with a white border of some description, but no, I really like it. So we'd originally thought we wouldn't stay up, but we ended up staying up to watch the fireworks. And um, and of course we had to buy some light up here. Okay. Uh, next morning we're up super early. This is the hotel we stayed at, the Newport Bay. Um, beautiful hotel, but we were up so early uh, before the sun came out, really. And um, you can still see it was all lit up, so it looks like it's evening. But actually, that was that was before the sunrise. So we've not had very much sleep at all, but we're all like raring to go. Um, a beautiful big lake. And then I really like these little strips and I've outlined each one of them. And yeah, I mean, possibly could do with a little bit of splatter. That, that, <laughs> that would make it completely me. But yeah. OK, this has got lots of doodling on it. Um, so some punch strips some circles that have been die cut or punched the same with the arrows uh not sure what this is that's going on here don't really like that bit um i think it would have been fine without that um but yeah like this page so this is in the studios i think i'll probably go out of sequence now of events i'm not sure that this is in keeping with the events um Maybe it is. My, I can see it's still wearing the same trainers and the same leggings, so maybe this is the same time. I uh, went into the studios and I had to have a picture with Boo's door and uh, Mike Wazowski. I love Monsters Inc. Okay. 
this is us in Main Street. The weather wasn't 100% brilliant the whole time we were there, so we did have a bit of rain and damp, so uh, it wasn't great. But it was because it was October, it was all done for Halloween. So we had lots of ghouls and pumpkins and all sorts of stuff. Um, I love this very bright paper that I've chosen. Not so keen on these flowers. D just don't like them. Don't know what, what that's about. I ordered off, I remember ordering off eBay, I think it was, some Mickey Mouse punches, punched things. So I'd got some Mickey Mouse punches to add to uh, the page. A little bit of um, twine, I think, that's been put around there. But yeah, there was loads of stuff going on. It just looked so amazing. Here we go, more photo opportunity points for the Halloween displays. Um, this was like Minnie's, there's this money sewing machine and stuff. This was her area for her making all the costumes. Um, I, I like this on, the, on a kind of angle. And again, I used Halloween papers because the fact that it was Halloween based um, decor. I like the arrows. Um, yeah, I like that page. That's a bit different. Again, I'm feeling like it needed a few black touches somewhere, maybe some card candy or something along those lines. Um, oh yeah, I went to see the stunt show, the car stunt show. So it's called Motor Action Stunt Show. It, it was absolutely brilliant. Couldn't recommend that enough. It was such a fabulous show. Um, it's all Lightning McQueen and everything, but no, it was a brilliant show. Um, You'd say the only problem was from the minute it started, she needed the toilet, so it was a very long 45 minutes. <laughs> um, it's such a shame, but um, it was a brilliant show. Very spotty page, not so keen on this one. I think it gets a little bit, it's too busy. I think it's too busy, she says, who loves this one, and it's also really busy. Um, so this is actually a pattern paper, even though it looks like it's been stenciled, it's a pattern paper. I've teamed it with another spotty paper as well. So even though I've just gone about, oh, that's really busy, there's two lots of dots going on. Uh, it's kind of grungy. Don't know why I went grungy with this one, but there you go. But obviously we met the main man. So there we go. There's the main man. Um, he is indeed a star. Oh, that's printed onto the paper. He's on the paper there as well. Uh, so yeah, we had breakfast with Mickey and friends uh, at Cafe Mickey, which doesn't exist anymore, um, apparently. I know this because I watch everybody else's trips to Disneyland and to Disney World, but I know everything about it. Just don't get to go. Uh, but yeah, all these stars are all stamped. Uh, but yeah, I obviously went on a bit of a ink everything with grey. and I don't really know why, but I really like it. What I'm not so sure about is these randomly placed gems. I'm not sure what they're about, but I suppose it adds the sparkle that goes along with the Mickey Mouse. So it's another one of those from that same meet, although it's a different angled picture. Uh, this is one where, again, I've done the editing on an app uh, to add some, some embellishment and to put a filter on and stuff like that and then what's really special is oh i've got some hidden journaling but that's mickey's autograph and then some stuff that maya had written dear mickey i'm writing a letter to say thank you for uh letting us have a cuddle from you and your friends i love you so much yours sincerely maya johnson thanks for reading i want to cry it's so cute <laughs> And then she'd drawn some pictures on the back of that one. Yeah, that's Mickey's uh, signature. So um, we didn't buy an autograph book, but we did buy a notebook whilst we were there. And um, that's what we used as our autograph book. Um, and then I've just taken some pictures out. But yeah, there's the journaling that goes behind. I like that with the little stars. Again, I just feel like it needs, when I see a big page that's coloured, I just feel like it needs a little bit more to ground it. But, yeah, it'll soften it in some way, I don't know. Uh, this one, back to the East, uh, Easter, not Easter, the autumnal colours and the Halloween papers. Sorry, I'm just spotting bits of paper that's stuck in there. It shouldn't be. Um, 
glorious colours of the trees because of the colour the time of year it was so it was just gorgeous so this is a real page that's that's really just about the decor that was in um the natural decor that was in disneyland um because you just you can't beat that even imagineers who are amazing you can't beat the colours in the trees it's just amazing uh, and this is big thunder mountain so this was us we were on the steamboat at this point going around some stamping down here and I really like this. I think it it works so well with the picture. The only thing I'm not keen on is the title over here. But I think it just works so well with the picture. It's a beautiful page. Oh, now this is fun. Totally different colour scheme, obviously. Uh, completely Toy Story. You know, you can't not. This is Andy's bedroom wallpaper and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. The parades at Disneyland Paris were just amazing. They, they filled me with complete joy when we saw them. They were fabulous. So these were the Toy Story ones. Loved, loved the Toy Soldiers. I think they were fabulous. Um, but yeah. So I actually carved this stamp myself. I took the shape that was on this cloud and tried to make it myself i think it works quite well these are all stamped and cut out strips uh, that was meant to like be like faux washi tape um bit of a an interesting edge going on here not quite the scissors i think that was when i had the the rotary blades that have got different edges i've probably still got them in the drawer actually i don't think i've used them for years but yeah completely different colors and obviously quite blocky but because i've put the the photos on an angle it, it works well i think this looks like quite a typical me page so a it's a picture of me it's a selfie uh but uh we bought my uh, the ears but i wore them um occasionally um and, and i have been known to wear them at home to cheer myself up <laughs> whenever i come across them they do give you a headache after a little while but um, they're great uh, so some punched banners, so a bit like, I've done this on a few of the pages, haven't I, with, with the banners going across. Obviously that was a bit of a theme at that point. Um, cute, cute, cute page. Um, I think when you have a kit, um, which I'd obviously bought for this, it's really easy to put together pages with embellishments, etc. Because you've got a whole kit there that, that works for you, so it's always a good idea to buy kits they work together it's just i i end up with too much of the stuff and then i don't know what to do with the rest of it so that's something that i need to be thinking about if i'm going to do more scrapbooking what sort of styles do i want to use and that kind of thing so this is quite a plain page in terms of there's not very much going on apart from that crumb cake background um, and then this is like a postcard that's been put in with some washi tape uh this is a doily uh which i think i got from wilco or somewhere like that and then there's some doodling and the journaling but yeah just um it's quite a cute page really i think again i would have wanted to map my picture it just doesn't quite look right without a frame um and now there's no way on earth i would have all of that empty space without some kind of mixed media going on in the background it would just feel weird to me to not do that I quite like this, even though that I've just that really like all the white space on this. This works because it's such bold patterns, doesn't kind of want very much else. So I really like my corner cluster, quite a bit of journaling going on. Um, yeah, I have no idea why my looks so are grumpy on that picture, but there you go, full of attitude anyway, which is indeed what the title says. Oh, that's interesting, a punched border. That's, that's not something we normally have. In fact, I think that might be a sticker. I think it was a sticker. But yeah, I like that. Just a little, few little elements clustered around. But I, I like that page. It's simple. Ooh, this one's not simple. This was like, whoo. And I made that paper. So I made it how it is. Um cut out all the bits and pieces that I needed to cut out to stick this down um, these are all doodled lines and again like there was with Mickey we have got 
Ooh, with stock. No. There we go. We have got Minnie's signature. Her autograph. Um, so yeah, this we we kind of gone quite a long time and we'd not been able to see her and meet her at this point. And then she appeared in our hotel, and we um, managed to get a picture with Maya. Uh, so we were quite pleased about that. I like that page. Oof, impact. Focus entirely on the photo, um, with a few embellishments. Um, I was obviously in a bit of a thing of using doilies because there's another doily. Okay. So the amazing thing about Disneyland Paris, which for any people who've only ever been to Disney World and uh, won't realise, is you can go inside the castle at Disneyland Paris, which apparently is unusual. Uh, they've got this beautiful Sleeping Beauty uh, stained glass window gallery kind of thing that you walk around and see the story being told. So there's me having a prince, uh, a kiss with my prince. Um, but yeah, it, it's a beautiful place. It's it's the most beautiful castle I pit in my opinion um obviously i've not been to the others but it does look so beautiful so this is very much me doing my cluster mode full on photo loads of stuff around the photo uh, a few different layers etc of papers and then lots of embellishments in this case lots of hearts because obviously it's a story of love So this is quite fun. Uh, in fact, Maya was like, oh, can I have a picture with the Dormouse popping out the top of the teapot? This is in the Alice in Wonderland area. Um, another banner. And this time I've stamped my little teapot. Um, and again, one there, but with glossy accents, although it's gone all yellow. Note to self, glossy accents does not, does not weather well. Uh, quite a cute little page. Um, yeah, I'd do that differently, I think, if I was to do that one again. Um, I probably wouldn't stamp in a row. I'd probably stamp around in some way rather than doing them in a row. Um, in, again, this is in the um, Alice in Wonderland area. But to be honest, there was like loads of photo prop areas in Disneyland Paris at the time. Um, but yeah, this is in the Alice in Wonderland area and there were a few chairs and things that you could do for your photos. Another doily. Um, again, my little side top cross. I mean, there's a theme. There's definitely a theme. These are, unlike other videos where I've gone, oh, this is different. This isn't what I would normally do. There's definitely, you can sense that these are all done at a similar sort of period. Oh, although not all of them, because some of them are very different. Okay, so, um, yeah, driving at Autopia, which I think is Tomorrowland Speedway in Florida. Um, but it's Autopia in Paris. Uh, it was very funny. It poured down whilst we were on this ride and Maya's driving was funny. Uh, but I'd saved the map. And then this is actually a tracing of, this is the route that we did. So nobody will understand that apart from me, because I've not actually put it down there. Um, but yeah, we had lots of fun on this. Uh, and this is a car themed paper that I just had in the stash and thought, well, that works. Not Disney in any way, slight shape or form. Um, but yeah, it worked for for the theme of the photographs. Oh, I've just noticed in the background I've got like a zigzag, so it looks a bit like tire tire tread going on. Oh, my favourite moment from the whole of this. Well, there's two two moments, and I think it, oh, I haven't scrapped him. Well, that maybe that'll be the last picture of the scrap that goes in that space earlier. But my favourite moment was meeting Gaston. First of all, he was a complete and utter flirt, and he worked so well. Oh, he was amazing. Um, but yeah, he um, he took Maya's book, he signed it, and then he held onto her pen and signed everybody else's, knowing full well that he'd got a pen and he was like winding her up because she was just stood there really patiently waiting for her pen back. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, 
But yeah, then I had pictures with him and he, oh, mm, I had a moment. I had a, I had a moment. Anyway, this is quite a mucky page, I suppose. Don't know why I went for, you know, full on gorgeous grunge stamping and dots of enamel accents and all sorts of stuff going on. There's also some tiny little ones of glitter or are they actually gems? No, I think it's like a glitter glue as well in there. Uh, but yeah, totally different kind of. Oof. Um, I think this needed to be maybe made more prominent. If it if it was if I was to do it again, I'd probably make this a bit more prominent. It, even with it being inked down the edges, it sort of fades into the background a little bit. And obviously, the colour scheme is completely chosen by the colours of Gaston. And then the final one is Maya pulling the sword from the stone. Um, this is uh, Vin had actually popped off to the loo. We came and did sword on the stone whilst he'd gone to the loo. And at this point, I believe our friends were just walking past. Um, so weirdly, two two friends who were work colleagues um, were also in Disneyland Paris at the same time as was staying in the same hotel. We didn't actually speak to each other the whole time we were there, but we, we both spotted each other at distance in, in various ways. Um, and I think either they spotted us at this point or we spotted them. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I like this again. There we go. There's the theme coming through with um, those banners. I like the circles and the doodling that I've done on this page. And I like the fact that it's kind of all in one space. Um, I think that works quite well. So there you go. That is my Disneyland Paris Um album i think there's probably at least another couple of pages could probably be done but as you can see i've got no page protectors left uh, so there's just that one empty back of the page protector that i've got left to fill at this point in time but there's, there's hundreds of pictures i could scrap on this holiday um so i hope you enjoyed that please do give me a thumbs up let me know if you're enjoying these flip through videos um they're certainly fun for me to do, um, so I'm hoping that you're enjoying and getting something valuable out of seeing this, uh, whether it be inspiration for future video, future pages that you're doing or colour combinations or things that I've done. You think, oh, I've not done that for a while. Um, or just laughing at not necessarily in this, in this album, but some of my older scrapbooking styles, which are quite, um, yeah, they're interesting anyway. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, please pop me a little comment in, down below. Um, either say more or nah, can you do something else, please? That That's absolutely fine. Uh, all feedback is very much welcomed. Um, and subscribe for future videos because I put them out sporadically. So unless you've got that on with the notification bell, you're not going to see it probably in your feed. So make sure you subscribe with the... Um, with the little ring icon what is it bell icon that's it that's what i'm after um so you're notified when i put a next video up until next time though goodbye